Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otzosti and welcome back to another day in Minecraft. You're right, this is not our usual world, but a creative test world, and I suspect we will be in here for the whole episode, because it is time for one of the last big projects, the dragon. And I'm not talking about the Ender Dragon, which I fought several times in this series and also in my other hardcore series, so I'm pretty confident in dealing with him. No, it is time to design the dragon that I challenge myself to do. The goal of this episode is to get most of the proportions and hopefully the colors figured out. There will be a separate episode dealing with the dragon head and feet and hopefully in the third installment I can then finally build it in the world. I did check out various techniques on how to go about this and the solution I will follow is a mix of the various processes outlined by different builders, all linked down below in the description. The first step is to get the outline figured out. The simplest thing you can do is to align the dragon along one of the major axes. But this would be too easy. I spotted a model that is perched on top of a rock that I quite like. Difficulty of course is that it is neither symmetrical nor totally aligned on an axis. I tried to create an outline from both sides, but due to perspective they do not properly align. So I will figure out the body first. I am happy with the basic shape. The wings should be easier to add as they are parallel to an axis. And I can do one at a time. The way the tail and neck is curved, this caused a bit of trouble. Now it's time to place in blocks and this is the color palette I choose. The crying obsidian, of course, is for highlight. This body is massive. To get it somewhat right, I only use the perspective from one side and from behind. The wings are more modular, but also more detailed, and it quickly became obvious that the side view and the back have different scales and do not line up. Therefore, I used the view from the back and winged the rest based on the model and it came out ok I think. The whole model is not very detailed and I expect it does not need to be. As the underside of the wings are very dark, I lightened them up which creates an interesting pattern on its own. I hope this was inspirational for you and join me next time when I tackle the legs, head and a tiny bit of details. At the end I will also provide the dragon model as a download. So I hope to see you soon for another day in Minecraft. Goodbye!